Hi folks, welcome to Live After Five, Maria here. So this evening I want to share actually a really useful tip uh, with you. Um, I suppose this goes back to a meeting I had recently with a prospective client. They had a beautiful home, they're thinking of selling their home, and they got a BR done recently and it rated kind of low enough, like a D2 or D3. And like this house is absolutely stunning. It was an older cottage that they would have extended and renovated and you know very high spec finish but they were telling me when they were doing the you know the extension and the retrofit of the cottage 10 years ago they never actually kept documents and receipts relating to the dry lining that they that they had done they had put insulation and in under the, like under the floors in the ceilings everywhere so when the BR assessor came out and did the assessment they were so surprised that it had rated like Again, it was like a D2 or the D3, something really low like that. And they were wondering why, because they couldn't supply documentary evidence proving they had carried out work, the BR assessor had to assume they put no insulation in the walls, that they didn't dry line them, anything. So the BR assessor can only go by what they visually see on the day. So if they can go into the attic, see the insulation, they can account for that. If they can check the windows and you know see how old they are and whatever type they are that can be accounted for and so on and obviously your heating system that's quite obvious what it is and maybe how old it is but anything else you've done which can't be proven they have to assume it wasn't done so this is really important because i know a lot of people are buying older properties at the moment and they're doing fabulous work on them and retrofitting them and bringing up the energy rating making really cozy homes but when you're getting the work done, you might want to sell or rent the property in five years time, 10 years time, 20 years time. And you need to get a BR assessment done because you need to have a BR done if you're gonna sell or let a property. And if you've no evidence to support the work that you've carried out, the BR assessor will assume it wasn't done and you could get a really low rating. And in turn, especially if you go to sell your property, it will actually devalue your property. You'll have less people who may be interested if they think it's cold property. So just a tip, even though you mightn't be thinking you're ever gonna sell your home, you're doing all this hard work, just make sure you keep all the paperwork. You may need it someday. Have a great evening, everybody. Mm -hmm.